Um, it sure looks like quite the fire. Had to say. But because of the, uh, the the difficult transportation and the water, obviously we cannot get close to a Red River that was more relentless than they were. I kind of wanted to stay there. If I had to go up on the roof until I was had to leave, I was going to do that. But just the night before, when word came that the river was headed higher again, hundreds of volunteers appeared here to construct a sandbag levee that they thought would be enough. But in the end, it was water from this breached dike on the south end of town that flooded in and snuck up on downtown Grand Forks from behind. We have somewhere between uh, 1,200, 1,300 homes that have had to be abandoned. Uh, we had about a thousand people in shelters last night. There were two that were set up, and uh, the rest of the city is being encouraged on a violent evacuation basis. A voluntary basis for much of the city, but there is mandatory evacuation in a lot of neighborhoods. This is one of them, and the uh, city officials say they will begin enforcing mandatory evacuation at eight o'clock local time here. They say they don't expect to have water back in Grand Forks for another two weeks. Power is also said to be in jeopardy. Uh, they have told everyone who leaves to be prepared to be gone for at least two weeks. There is a mandatory evacuation of all of the hotels in town. There's no place to stay. You have to leave town to go to one of the shelters. They're trying to get one shelter up to 10,000 people. It, uh, it, it handled about 2,000 last night. And again, we leave you with a picture of, uh, as we said, from bad to worse in Grand Forks, a fire on top of everything else. That is the latest here. We will continue to watch this one. Not a good scene, Jane. Jeff Fox, where exactly are the evacuees going? Where are the shelters being set up? Uh, well, there was a shelter uh, at the Red River Pool. They ran into problems there. They don't have water uh, because of the water system failure. And they also, there's also a pool water around town, even though it's nowhere near the river. They had to abandon that as, a, as, an, ev as an evacuation shelter. Uh, they're now uh, going to the Air Force Base, the local Air Force Base, and they're trying to get that up to 10,000 to a max of 10,000. Keep in mind, population of this town is 50,000. Jeff Locke in Grand Forks, thanks a lot for joining us. Such sites are actually in the uh, Grand Forks Herald buildings that had worked its way down a couple of buildings to there, and in fact, the... Uh, the you mentioned earlier the debris that was flying through the air had okay. fallen on buildings across the street and down the block, and there's smoke coming from another building as well, so at least three or four buildings right now do have smoke coming from them, and uh, that's why they're evacuating everybody out of the area and getting ready to dump right now. Okay. And that's the very latest, and, uh, and unfortunately, we're... Joins us the latest. Gene, a very extraordinary day here in North Dakota. Uh, obviously, it started with a loss of one fight, that to the floodwaters. They are now in the midst of another fight, which could prove even more disastrous, and that is a fire that's ongoing. Uh, Sean, I don't know what we're able to see right now, but we've got something of an air show going on right now. There is a Department of Natural Resources plane. That's not it. Can you can you see that one up there? There's a Department of Natural Resources plane that has been buzzing this downtown fire and we have pictures from the scene of that fire uh... it is a building called the security building it is right in the middle of downtown grand forks it is one of uh, the oldest and most historic buildings in uh... uh grand forks no indication about how this fire started but it, it, it is by all uh, descriptions uh... a very very serious fire uh, flames shooting uh, perhaps uh, seven eight stories in the air the building itself is about six or seven stories uh... completely involved it is uh, maybe a quarter of the de of, of one down t block uh... it is a very serious fire they are very concerned because in addition to the size of the fire now there is really virtually from the ground no way to put it out uh... firefighters uh, put a fire truck in there, but they were not able to get any, although they have certainly plenty of water to fight with, not enough pressure to fight with. Here is what is happening now. A Department of Natural Resources plane uh, has been buzzing the area in an effort to get people to evacuate. There were about 20 people in that big building uh, that uh, were not evacuated, that, that were still in the building. And Sean, we're able to see this, what is called a bucket plane. Maybe, are you able to get, get a picture of that? It's going to go right behind that building. What's happening right now, this is uh, uh, what they call, we believe, a bucket plane. This is a plane that hopes from the air to drop water on this fire. It's going to go behind this building, and then we'll pick it up again, and you can see the flames uh, off behind us here. Uh, this 
uh, plane carrying what we believe flood water uh, is uh, attempting to make a drop on the building. At this point, it is the only way that they are able to fight this fire. Now, they, we expect that they would have taken a practice run, and that may be the practice run there. That would be the first pass that particular plane has made on the building. Earlier, a Department of Natural Resources plane, a smaller plane, and that's still buzzing out there as well. That one's way up there, and I don't know if Sean can see that as well. That uh, has been uh, buzzing the area in an effort to get people to move out of the area. The problem has been that several people have stayed uh, despite the seriousness of the flood, and now that they have this additional problem, they want everyone out of that downtown area. There is a it was a gallant fight. But on Saturday, Grand Forks, North Dakota, finally had to give Amazing up. scene, and you see the, the intensity and the fire coming out at, at, at all floors. Several floors burned away in the building. As we mentioned, it did start to, to implode, and you could hear the large booms going throughout the town, and then the planes circling overhead, and, and flaps did begin as we were leaving the area. Do you know oh. if anybody was... ...and forks swelling up into thousands of homes, and it is still rising. The evacuation orders have caught so many off guard. There you go. Okay, and up you go. Stunned that the river is going to take their homes as well. They're leaving as quick as we are, shutting off power. And to the west, and the water is spreading out, spilling out, rushing through. What do you Some do? thought... Uh, I believe it's South 3rd Street in Grand Forks. Uh, North 3rd Street, I think it is. North 3rd Street in Grand Forks, where the security building started on fire. They are using helicopters now to douse the fire. Earlier, they were using some chemical to put out the blaze. Firefighters tried in vain to put out the fire earlier this afternoon. Hydrants were underwater. They were trying to reach underwater to hook up the hoses, but it just didn't work. Now they are using the floodwaters. They're actually being put to use, as we have been told, to put out this terrible fire in downtown Grand Forks. That is some video. Using chemical drops from airplanes. About 20 people have been evacuated from one building. Meanwhile, the police and National Guard are going door to door to get people to leave the city. Most of Grand Forks, 50,000 residents must flee as the water continues to rise. Officials say they promise to carry out an evacuation order for Saturday night. Grand Forks, uh, North Dakota. Perhaps you see, and it's very dark, I know, but perhaps you can see off in the distance flames. Well, it's the entire downtown. Uh, perhaps you see the most serious flames off to the right there, but we just came back from wading in. That's the only way you can get in down there is to wade in in chest deep water. There are, at our count, at the last report, five separate fires uh, that are going. Uh, started with what was called the security building. Uh, it spread to a building next door to that. Now, as we speak, there is a, a building behind that is, that's involved, and down that block, two additional ones. We have some pictures that I think uh, I'm going to try to get to a position where I can see uh, the, the, uh, the, the, the pictures myself so I can see exactly what we're talking about here. We want you to know this is raw. These are raw pictures uh, that we shot uh, just a bit ago to try and give you a feel for what it looks like in there. Again, five separate uh, buildings are in flames. This is the federal building. It appears right now that uh, it appears that this federal building is not yet in flames, but right behind it, a building is. That would have been the second up. Uh, off to the right is the security building. You can see it off to the very right portion of your screen. Uh, and again, this is raw videotape uh, that we shot from a parking garage in uh, the middle of downtown Grand Forks. We need to report to you that at this point, firefighters on the ground are not able to do much of anything. This is just down the block from there, uh, another building that's in, uh, in flames. And across the street from that, right next to the uh, parking garage, yet another one. And that's a very serious fire. That's the one that you see right now uh, that's burning very brightly and very red uh, in the sky at this hour. This is a building that the, the rear of that building uh, is, uh, was engulfed. The way these have all spread, embers from that very first fire have surrounded, have fanned out over the city. Uh, and that's the first fire. The building that you see in the back of that picture, uh, the first fire, 
uh, embers from that one, and that was a very, very hot fire, uh, about a six storm uh, that was behind the one you see in, in flames there right now.